Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Xiao Talk Show. Today is 2019, November 17th, Sunday. One o'clock in the afternoon, San Francisco time. Good morning, Bart. Good morning, hello, beautiful people. And today we don't have a topic, but let me show you Emily's watch. We're gonna talk about random stuff, but I'm thinking I'm going to do、uh, some JavaScript coding. Unless you guys have some topics, so if you have a topic, type in the chat box. Good morning, Emily. So Emily, the master nerd, she's got, she's we you know we were talking about watches. And she's saying she's got her own number system and her own writing system. But anyway, so she is using a、uh, six-based numbering system. She likes it, you know. She she uses it that. So Emily, if you have any information,、uh, you know, just put in the chat. So Emily is using. A six-based numbering system, and、uh, what's the name of that? <laughs> and and oh my God, she's got this six-based numbering notation. You know, I was wondering wondering about what that is.、Uh, you you can see that this, this is her notes. Now, is this just numbers, or is this a kind of also a writing system? I mean, if it's just numbers, I mean, why do you have to write so many numbers? Wait,、uh, yeah. So there, and、uh, so we were talking about watches, and so Emily started to、uh, tell us about her system. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> She she's got co copious notes about the system in Emacs Org Mod. <laughs> Glyph structure, glyph structure and design goals. Okay, M script, Emily script, an efficient regular writing system. Oh my God, design goals, efficient to read, continuous forward hand movement. This means no loops that require the hand to swap directional movement. So wait, continuous forward hand movement. So this means no loops that require the hand to swap direction of the movement. What do you mean? You mean the the strokes like no no loops like a like going backwards. Yeah, I think that's what she means. So we'll ensure the fastest transfer from mind to paper. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> Emily, you are a crackpot. <laughs> And the simple regular shapes. All shapes are based off a pattern to create a simple set of glyphs that can be easily constructed and read. Okay, efficient to write. Simple regular shapes. All of the shapes can be inter inter interpreted by pattern recognition, such that a word becomes its shape instead of its collection of characters. Okay,、uh, glyph structure. So this is what it looks like, I guess. Huh.、Uh, okay, glyph structure. Each glyph consists of two or three, for some cases, straight lines arranged, aligning to a three by three grid. Okay. Imagine you have. Okay. So anyway, this is her system. Uh, and uh, okay, this is her、uh, writing system. Let's see. Okay, let's see some yeah, some some orthography or something like that. Let's see. So this is okay. A B C. <laughs> okay.、Um, Oh my God, M M script Emily's writing system, a true nerd's nerd. And she also created created a font. Oh wow. 
she also created a fund OTF. What what is the format of that fund OTF? Okay, so that's Emily's system. If you have a question, ask Emily. So uh, good morning, good morning. Uh, I already typed the topic. So bots. So Bart's topic is about abstract syntax tree. Well, I don't know anything about that topic, so uh, yeah, I don't really know that topic because to know that topic, you have to know compilers. But anyway, Emily's writing system, she's got, I mean, well, she's got the numbering system too and a six based system. It's got a name, but I don't remember. Uh, I didn't know there's a name for number for six based numbering system. She mentioned it uh, called okay. And this picture, let's show this picture because because this is the picture we talked about about last week or so, ten days ago. Her, you know, her keyboard and setup, and she's you know she's telling us that this. You know, on the side here is her time system. So she is using you know the six space number in system to uh, count time. So you can see there are six sections, and now it's like um, okay, you have to translate it. So let's see, one, two. Okay, let me turn off the auto click. So one. So here is one, two, three, four. Four times two. Wait, six times twenty-four. Uh, yes, uh, so is uh, so one, two, three, four. Four times four is sixteen. So it's about sixteen o'clock. Sixteen o'clock is like four o'clock. In the afternoon, then one sixth of an hour. Well, I mean, in her system. So one sixth of an hour in her system will be. Uh, what is it like? Twenty minutes or something. So anyway, so that's you know that's what she's doing. Very interesting. Uh, okay, so close that. Well, actually, so let me write down today's topic and put it there. Start talk show for today, and uh, oh, I didn't start my Firefox yet, so I don't have a topic yet. So, uh, type a topic or whatever, whatever, whatever you guys are interested, you know, just type in the chat. So let me put this down here. Did I miss anything interesting, Emily? So her writing system, this is amazing. Uh, her own writing system. You know, in 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 history, there are quite a few guys. You know, nerds. They have created their own writing system. You know, and, and some of the many of the famous scientists or mathematicians, they've done that too. Uh, for example. Uh, for example, let's keep it. There, so you know we can show that later. So, so can I can I put this in my blog, e Emily? In my blog, your uh, notes and pictures. I think it would be fun. I think maybe I put it in in the page where you discuss your stuff. So, so the writing system I made. Okay, so there are topic you don't know. Yeah. yeah. Scenery. Okay, so the six-based numbering system is called Scenery. So let's look it up. Okay, Scenery numbering system. You know, I heard, I heard that six-based system has many advantages. Actually, I I think it's what, um, yeah, six. I think. So you know it. It is possible. You know, if you are really progressive, then you want to throw out the system we are using, like the decimal system, like throw it out. 
<laughs> then just just use the six space system. Now, so I heard, you know, I, I haven't read this or in, into detail about the system, but I heard, you know, it's better because it's got more uh, divisibility, things like that, you know, the reasons that it is good. So, uh, but, so, but, you know, the thing is you cannot just throw away because just like programming backward compat compatibility, so we are stuck with a decimal system. I think I heard dual decimal anyway. So superior higher composite number. Okay, six six is a superior higher composite number. Anyway, let's put this in the page so you can so I can read it later and and you guys can go read it. The scenery numerical system. It's pronounced scenery, right? Not scenery. Yeah, scenery. Okay, scenery numerical system. Also, base six, hexamol, sexamol. Okay, sexamol is a better name because <laughs> because it says sex. Well, you know, yeah, the scenery. Like, what the fuck is scenery? You know, but you, if you say sexamol, then people understand what it means. Or even hexamol. Uh, you know, we are screwed with our Latin and. Uh, you know, the English roots. So you have by and you have die. You have, you know, one is based from Greek and one is based from uh, Latin or, or Rome or something like that. So we have, and to this day, like September, like, uh, uh, like sec, sec, September, October, you know, October is the 10th month, but oct means eight. So we are pretty screwed with all this, you know, the historical naming. But, you know, we cannot just simply change it because backward compatibility, just like the fucking Unix. Okay, so hex, so, so, so you got this num, uh, numbering system. And, uh, and also, rem remember our clocks is 12 based. And that is also historical, and I think it's crap, you know. So, but we cannot simply change it to decimal-based system. So anyway, let's see what she says. Okay, I I explained them in Discord. So she explained them in Discord. So, um, so there's a lot here. Uh, you can see example of it in a, yeah. I saw that. I was going to ask you, you know. <laughs> I saw those notes, those cryptic notes, and I was thinking you are doing some, you know, those are always very interesting because, okay, so your writing system, so if, you know, it's kind of based on, you know, as far as the, the character goes, it's kind of based on combinatorics. Yeah, right. More or less, you know, because you have different positions and you you move them, uh, your pen, to these positions. But I think. I think there is a practical problem. <laughs> okay, if if I may say so, you know, because if you are going to write this in practice, you cannot do it because, it will be because because this system. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm going to criticize. I'm going to be the armchair philosopher, okay? Because this system, if you write it, you know, it's very logical, but but it's it's like uh, the characters looks all the same, you know, like uh, some length, you know, you may maybe they they differ by uh, changing of length. So if you write this, especially in a script fashion, it's illegible. That's what I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, right? Or, or what do you think about that? Okay, let's see what else here. So a, a, anyway, so sh uh, here is her watch. And this is so cute, this watch. Uh, she programmed it. And it's digital, so she, you know, she likes the six space system. So she has this. Okay, so if I if I'm going to look at this watch, you know, so six space system. So if you want to translate it 
translated to 12 based system then you multiply by 4 so this would be wait is your 6 a 12 hour hour of 24 hour uh, Emily so is your 6 like equal to 12 hour half a day of uh, 24 hours Six decimal, uh, yeah, that's a sixty based system. So let's read. Let me read the comments. Uh, base twelve prime decomposite. Okay, twenty four hours. So she says twenty four hours. Let's pop the chat out. Uh, so I can see. Okay, so and let's magnify it a bit. And let's go back. So, so this is twenty-four hour based, you know, uh, over a circle. So, if it says, so right now it says three four, okay. So it says four. Four times four is, uh, four times four is sixteen. So it's sixteen o'clock. So it's six, sixteen o'clock, which is four o'clock p.m. Yeah, so you, you know, you, you'll take some use to, to, you know, read this system. And this is Fitbit. This is a digital, you know, she programmed it. So, okay, what, what else? Uh, let's see. My number system, time system, and writing system. And, and yeah, it's, you know... <laughs> She created an entire writing system, and she has notes. Do you actually? So, do you write the in this your system every day? In Discord, I remember you crossed it out as if you know maybe you don't use it anymore or something. Do you act still use it every day? She's crazy, you know. She's <laughs> guys. We have a crazy girl here, uh, and you know. So, and she. Oh, open okay so actually you use the line on paper to discern characters you use the line on paper to discern characters okay yeah Korean handle combination of characters pretty well and uh, Emily says so you can easily see if a line starts above or below a line okay or at least I think so uh, 24 hours I do use it every day wow I cross it out as I should have been eating <laughs> dinner okay so okay that's very interesting uh, and this this is beautiful this is cute okay what what else good morning George uh, Okay, so you know, I, you know, I, I, am also interested in watch, uh, you know, somewhat. Uh, what you know, so there is this watch. I find it quite amazing. Uh, this yes watch. So let's go yes watch. Okay, let's go to their website. Open in Brave. Okay, and. Uh, you know, I find this watch interesting because it's 24 hour uh, based watch. Uh, but the gist of it is that you can, let me show you, uh, error, okay, reload. The gist of that is, you see this, uh, you know, this is uh, digital and also analog. You look at the background. You see part of it is dark, part of it is uh, bright. So this this whole circle is twenty four hours. You, so you can see at a glance, you know how many daylight, how much daylight remains until dark. So the the whole thing is uh, a full day, twenty four hours. 
Yeah, but the reason, I mean, the, the, the gist, you know, I've been, you know, I, so I'm a nerd, so I look at these things, you know, I, I, I want to find what's the most, what's the best system, you know, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't go crazy like the Emily's six, you know, the six space system. But anyway, I thought the 24 hour clock is interesting because, because at the, in, in a glance, you can see how, how much daylight remains. And so I, I really wanted to have that kind of $445 they are. So that's uh, one of the interesting watch, you know, uh, yes, yes watch. And then there is this watch, this watch, this watch is cycloid, cy uh, they call cyclos watch. You know, these this fancy watches are expensive, like uh, either a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars. I think this cycloid watch is a few thousand dollars, over a thousand dollars. You know, watches is a thing. It's a thing for nerds, but it's also a thing for society to, it's a jewelry, basically. It's a piece of jewelry to show your status. So you have many expensive watches. But it's also fascinating because they are mechanical, you know, usually, you know, the, the mechanical watches are, are ex, you know, expensive and interesting because you can see the uh, mechanic, me, mechanical things has certain intrinsic abstraction because they are technology such that you can see, kind of, as opposed to digital, you know, electronics where everything, you don't see nothing. Okay, so but but this cyc cyclos watch is interesting. You see the hour hand, the hour hand will grow, will shorten or lengthen as it rotates. So when it is, you know, the first twelve hours, it will stay inside the circle, this circle. But at night, it will grow into the outer circle, something like that. So <laughs> that's cyclos watch. You know, they they wrote to me about. 15 years ago that's how I know it because um, let's let's check at their website to see if, how they are doing if they are cyclos watch okay so let's go let's check their website open in brave and there is another link uh, another link okay open in brave So turn on JavaScript. Refresh English and Dutch. Okay, they are based in Dutch. You know, so okay, so they are still going. Oh well, I guess this is uh, Flash. You know, they are. This means their website is not so active because. You know, they are still using Flash, which has been obsolete for a few years now. So Cyclos watch. You know, I think actually very few people buy these watches. You, you know, you, uh, 24 hour dual phase watch. Okay, team contact. So they wrote to me because it has to do with, you know, a math curve. Okay, let me show you that why this is interesting you know when, when it comes to mechanical stuff then you have lots of uh interesting math going on uh, as opposed to digital you know digital yeah there's a lot math too but it becomes all uh, it becomes all just um signal processing you know whereas when you have mechanical things such as mechanical watch such as this one where you want to make the hour hand grow or shrink, then you you need mechanisms to to do that. And in order to do that, you need to know you know these kind of math curves linkages. So I don't remember which curve they were. Uh, emailing about that about I forgot but anyway let's let's go look at their website 
Uh, I think it's all broken. Refresh. Yeah, this, so it's broken. So this means they are not that active anymore, usually. So anyway, that's about the cyclos watch. And, uh, okay, and 24-hour clock watch. And there is another thing that's interesting. That is, I wanted to know, you know, so if you have a 24-hour wa uh, watch where the dial runs from 0 to 23, you know, uh, then you have a question. You have a question about, uh, okay, let me close that. You have the question whether the zero should start at the top or at the bottom. So here are some examples of 24-hour watch. Let me let me show it in in Brave because I need JavaScript. Ah, you cannot show. Okay, so xali.info, xali.info in Brave, you cannot toggle the JavaScript if you if it is a local file. So let's go to my website. So you have this wait wait is where is my clock? Oh turn on JavaScript. So I wrote a JavaScript you know to show 24 hour clock. So should the zero begin at the bottom or or the top? So I did a survey, you know I go look I you know I I I, I looked around Apparently, if it's a watch you wear on your hand, typically they the zero start at the bottom. But if it's a clock, then the zero begins at the top. Usually, that's the case. That's what I found. Uh, so that's a you know that's a kind of interesting question. If you were to design a watch, and you know should the zero begin at the bottom or the top? And that question is hard to. So Emily says zero is at the top. So so you prefer that, right? You you think it should be on the top. Let's see. Let's see her watch. Yeah, okay, zero. Well, well your clock start at top. That makes sense because uh well, it's similar it's it's, it's six uh, okay. Anyways, yeah, yeah. You start at top. Uh, so let's see. Well, it would make sense for zero to be at the bottom, such as daytime is at the top of the dial, such that daytime is at the top of the dial. Yeah, that that's the reason. I found it to be strange if the gap was at the bottom. The gap. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, so this, I think there is no right answer to the question because you want, you know, the reason you want to start at bottom so that the daylight appears on the top, you know, it's, it's more intuitive. But, but on the other hand, traditionally, you know, they all, the zero start at the top. So, so you have a conflict, you, you kind of, you know, you, you got a problem. And also it's no good where, it's no good if you have a clock that does one thing, then watches does another. So it's a problem. But anyway, in real life, nobody, <laughs> you know, nobody is gonna, nobody is going to like 24 hours watch, you know, that that's, that's just for nerds, nerds thing. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's about watches, I think. That's, so let's see what else are interesting. I don't have one. I I I host my own Git instance that uh, doesn't run a web GUI, right? So you beat yourself to be nerdy. I figure. Uh, so what what else? So how long have I been talking? Should we uh, should we do j some JavaScript or we only talked for half an hour but we can we can stop and that'll be it for today or you know because uh, you know I've been doing too long for each video so so let me read the comments then
stenography okay so I'm interested in making a watch face uh, stenography that's a interesting thing we can talk about so George says I'm interested in making a watch face that's 12 hours between sunrise and sunset like most scientific like most Asian civilizations oh okay so you want 12 hours for the whole day right that's I think that's what you're saying so it's like 24 hour clock but with only 12 hour uh, markings you know so it's like today's watch except it doesn't run twice it the the, the needles doesn't run twice yeah that 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 yeah that makes sense that's good so the purple hand exactly how far through the day I am the purple hand oh okay so she's got <laughs> okay so how do you so you got three hands so this is the hour hand obviously and that is the that is the minute hand so have you seen those new ugo docs inspired keyboards that are based entirely on chords uh, yes I have and Emily is doing that exactly she's got she, you know she's doing that I think they also releases released a stenography split board it's called gurgle okay oh my god I'm, I'm gonna do a rant on that I don't like that gurgle okay so you know uh, actually I, I talked about that in in a video before so let's try let's see Google keyboard Google keyboard oh my god there's a Google keyboard Gboard heavy industries okay let's have a look Google keyboard so okay yeah so let's just talk about this and that will be it today okay so this is this is actually this is actually the one like Emily posted uh, her photo and I think it looks like that is that is that what you're doing or you are doing your own yes by Gboard Industries okay yeah okay so she's doing that oh yeah that's interesting I didn't know about this keyboard okay I no I, yeah I didn't know about this one so apparently this keyboard is designed to be used as a steno uh, machine you know like using Prover I, and I and my opinion of that is crap <laughs> okay <laughs> I think it's the worst shit possible you use this you type it for two hours a day and by next month you are going to see a doctor <laughs> okay <laughs> But anyway so okay but this this is very interesting I'll, I'm going to uh, write a blog about it uh, yeah but let, let me give you my reasons why I think it's no good okay I, I, I don't think it's good but you know since I, I saw your um, you were doing that Emily so I rethought really about whether whether it's really no good or you know you know it's just uh, I don't like it so here's the thing okay so let me going to, I'm going to explain why I don't I don't I, why I think it's no good but you know and you know but you know maybe depends on perspectives okay so let me let me do that but let me finish reading the comments my word permit would probably tank to zero okay more of the novelty okay so for sure the Emily says the Georgie is specifically for steno and you shouldn't really use it for normal okay so just stick with the more standard travel keyboard okay for me zero at the top okay so 
and would be divided by three. Okay, so what? Uh, resource effect effect gitia. And what is gitia? I forgot. What is gitia? Ah, oh, God! I need to magnify the font. So we're gonna finish talking about this, and that that that'll be it today. Maybe ten more minutes. Gitia is very resource friendly. I run it on my Raspberry. So what is Gitia? So that's Bart says Emily is pretty fast. One thing that makes it a bit slow for my fifteen years old HDDs where I store my repositories. Yep, Gitia is really resource effective. JavaScript would be nice. Okay, so <laughs> I guess today. No JavaScript today. We're gonna, uh, yeah, we, we, we can, you know, plenty of day to do JavaScript. So, uh, Emily says, I'll have a look at, okay, so the longest hand is the hour hand. Okay, the, uh, where is her? Oh, the longest hand is the hour hand. Okay, now I'm all confused. The longest hand is the hour hand. Okay. Uh, in a watch phase, I want to be a daylight would be divided between 12 hours. Okay, right. Uh, smaller stenography one by the same guy. Okay. And... Uh, Okay, let me let me let me give you my reasons. This is crap. Okay, this yeah, my you know, my opinion of this is crap. So so um so you know, you have so let me, you know, talk to the general audience because many people don't know what the heck is steno. So steno Steno is a input system, uh, you know, input system device. It looks like that, and there are some, you know, it looks pretty much like that. There's no one standard. Uh, so okay, so actually, let me show the videos. So let's type it here. What is this page? Keyboard blog. Let's go here, paste it, and uh, showing Chrome. Uh, showing Brave. And ah, no JavaScript. Okay, let's just go to Xali keyboard. <laughs> um, Xali keyboard. So Steno. So you got the Steno. Steno is the input system. Okay, it looks like that. There's really no standard, but pr pretty much all the standard machines look similar to that. And they are extremely expensive. Like if you want to buy it, it costs you like a thousand or two thousand dollars, something like that. Bec why? Because there's no market. The market is very small. It's, it was used to, to be used by court um, clerks, you know, in court, like law suit in, in court. They, they need to record everything the witness said or things like that. But this technology, I mean, this need is going away because today you have voice recognition. You know, the machine just record everything you, you know, he, the machine recorded and transcribes into English or French or whatever. So, but before, you know, 20 years ago, you have clerks typing in real time using this system. This is this is a steno type machine, so it's very expensive, like one thousand or two thousand dollars. And you can see there are some YouTube videos. They show you how to use it, how to. They teach it. They teach you how to type on it, and they teach you the system how it works basically. You know, they, they teach you how it works. Uh, hold on a second. Let me st st stop that. Okay, so this system is very fast. You know, like on a computer keyboard, you can type, you know, 100 words per minute. But on a stenograph, if you learn it, you spend a month or two, few months to learn it, you can type 
typically above 200 word per minute. So it's twice or three times faster than typing on keyboard. And the reason it's so fast because two things. Okay, one, it's chord based. Um, f yeah, for two, e two reasons. Well, the first reason is because it's phonetic. You don't actually type letters one by one, like where, okay, where, W H E R E. You know, that, you, that, you, know you type W H E R E, five, five keystrokes. But on a phonetic system, where, where, where is like two, two phonemes. So you just type two keystrokes, something like that, okay. It's a f phonetic based system. That's half of the, the reason this is you know, two or three times faster than normal typing. The other reason it's chord based system. So in, instead of typing one key at a time in sequence, like we usually do it on this keyboard, it's like a piano, you press multiple keys at once. So why is that faster? Because when you press multiple, well, yeah, you, because you are pressing multiple keys at one time. So each time you press one keystroke on a normal keyboard, you can press several keys. So essentially it becomes uh, parallel somewhat. So because of these two reasons, chord based system and phonetic system combined, it's typically two or three times faster to type, um, you know, to for input. And, and of course you have to learn, it takes more time to learn, you, you know, uh, two months or three months, more, you know, more time than typical keyboard to touch type. So that's standard system. Now, so, so it's very fast and it's, it's very good. Now there are similar other systems like that based on piano. Uh, for example, there is this, uh, this uh, Michela coded uh, keyboard, this system. You know, if you look at history, uh, so apparently, you know, y y you look at history of inputs. So there are quite a lot of systems out there. We don't know because, you know, we usually you are not interested. But even even if you are a nerd, you are interested. You don't come across it uh, unless you actually actively try to research it. Then you found, you know, a lot of systems you know, that that exists in history and some of it still used today. This one, Michelin coded keyboard, I think it, it's still used today. So they, they have a complete system, you know, invented by this Michelin guy like 200 years ago. I think it's still used in France in court. So, you know, you can learn that again, just like the stenograph system, it's very fast. Okay, it's very fast for two reasons. One, it's chord so it's parallel you know it's chord and also the other reason it's phonetic so you don't type each individual letter you type the phonemes so it's very fast so anyway so so I, so in, so that's another system and there is another system modern piano system this is created about four five years ago in 2016 or so yeah 2005 2015 or so she, uh, this is uh, by a researcher who studies input systems. Uh, she is in Western Europe, I forgot where, no, Scandinavia, somewhere, you know, there. So she created an entire new piano based system. Uh, and you can go read her, you know, read the full detail. She's got P PDF and all that. And in fact, if you, you can actually buy a MIDI keyboard and, you know, use that. So I looked into this system. So, so what, so, 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 so I'm showing you several systems. They are all based on chord and all based on phonetics. Now it's not necessarily so that they based on phonetic phonetics. They can, you know, you can make each key on the piano to be a letter if you want to. You know, but anyway, phonetic system is usually faster, much faster. So there is a similarity between all these three. Three that is, they are all chord based and they are all phonetic. Okay, that is why they are extremely efficient, and I love them. Okay, I would, I would love them. Okay. Uh, so, but so so what about what about this 
you know this okay this uh, gurgle or let me show you another thing okay so let me show you another thing uh, let's go to PC keyboards then let's go to well let's go to do-it-yourself keyboards uh, let's yeah okay then let's go to this plank keyboard the worst shit possible <laughs> from the programmer you know from the keyboard nerds this is the worst keyboard possible on earth <laughs> Well, I'm not sure it's worth then happy hacking or not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But anyway, so so you have this plank keyboard. It's a do-it-yourself keyboard. A lot of nerds like it. Okay, you you go to Reddit, our mechanical keyboard or or you know some of the keyboard forums. A lot of people will love this. But anyway, there is this lady, this woman. Okay, she the, her, that this is her. Okay, she's typing in real time. She's using the plank, and let me let me explain what she's doing. She's you know her score is like 174 word per minute. She is a stenographer. Okay, she is a stenographer, so professional stenographer. You know she she used this stenograph, but she got a problem because stenograph. You know you got buy the, you got to buy these machines two thousand dollars. So she she got the idea. Why don't we make you know the traditional computer keyboard to do stenograph? So that way you don't have to you know subject yourself to this expensive niche market. You spend two thousand dollars for you know for you know you shouldn't be that expensive. So she created a system called Plover. Okay, she created a system called uh, Plover. Let me explain it. Let me see if I have some explanation um, somewhere. Okay, so, so she, anyway, she created this Plover system, which is designed to use the stenograph, you know, phonetic system on a normal computer keyboard. So you type chords on this keyboard or any 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 mechanical keyboard. One requirement that is you need n key rollover, meaning you, you the keyboard needs to be able to accept multiple key presses at the same time. Same time. So anyway, she invented the Plover system, which allows you to use the stenograph uh, typing system on the standard mechanical keyboard. And so, so this ergo, this gurgle apparently is created for this purpose i didn't know this before until today so you know so so you type you you type key chords you know you use this keyboard keyboard like a stenograph but in my opinion this is crap okay this is shit this is no good this is no good at all you use this for you know you use this seriously for two hours a day typing continu continuously you're gonna get the problems okay that that is my opinion but i i think i i will amend to that opinion a little bit <laughs> yielding to emily and and other people you know i i know other nerds who who you know we were friends we follow each other because they are also experts in there's another guy who is expert in in keyboards and he, he's also doing steno okay so anyway wh why why do I think it's crap because if you study this um, steno keyboard or piano systems you notice that these are physical devices now look at this 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 is actual physical device it is designed so that you it's designed now that's a keyword it's designed for you to press multiple keys at the same time you see each key on this keyboard is is five times larger than the area of a you know computer keyboard that's a big difference okay so this is designed for multiple key presses same thing with piano okay you know they are designed so that physically it fits you know it so you can do that you know it's like it's designed for it but 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 the the 
the computer keyboard is not such a thing. It's not designed like to do that. So for example, why for example, it's easy, it's trivial to press multiple keys on this standard keyboard. Same thing with piano. Okay, they same thing with piano keys. You know, they they have different shapes, but however, they are all designed so that you can for example, on piano, you know, I, I, I play piano and so so does Emily. They are designed to press multiple keys. And for the steno, you can see sometimes it's required to press both of these vertical, vertical keys together. And you have this thumb row. So it's designed for your hands to press multiple keys. Not so, not so with these fucking, you know, uh, computer keyboards. That's not designed for that. And not just the size of the keys. There are multiple aspects. Size of the key, the arrangement of the key, you know, so so the computer keyboard is not just for it. So when you, so when this lady, okay, with my respect, you know, she's thinking, let's, let's put Steno on the normal, you know, computer keyboards. <laughs> that, yeah, that's, that's a great idea. But that, but if, but if you, I think if you dive into detail, it's crap. It's 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 like it's creating a um, abomination. Okay, it's actually going to uh, create problems. It creates more problems than 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 it's worth. That's my opinion. So that is my reason. My reason is you know you have to because when we are talking about typing machines, these are hardware devices. You design the machine to, you know, you have to design the machine. You don't just, you know, let's say you don't just, oh, let's use, you know, let's use the ship's shape for spaceships, you know, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you have warships, you know, you have, you know, let's, let's design space, spaceships in the shape of our ocean ships. You know, that's idiotic. That would be completely idiotic. So my opinion, my reason is the same way. You don't, you know, yeah, you can do that, but you don't, it's not good. So that is my uh, opinion. But, you know, so I was thinking. So, uh, so let me read the comments, then, then that'll be it for today. So, but then I'm thinking, maybe I'm too extreme. Okay, so, so I kind of try to you know, I try to look at the other way. So, so what if I mean, so, so you know, I'm so, but wouldn't it be at least, at least a uh, improvement somehow? You know, for for example, I'm using, for example, my my keyboard is this Kinesis, right? So, you know, or, or suppose let's just say that, okay? So, so normal people, average people, you use keyboard like that, but and it's very slow. But wouldn't it be great if you just, you know, why not? You, if you can uh, type stand on it. And you will increase your speed by two times at least. Why not? It's not so bad an idea, right? And most for most people that will work because you don't nobody actually type two hours continuously a day. Although most programmers like to think they do. But even I you know, when you lock your keystrokes, I found out if I type continuously, it's just going to be one hour a day. And and that's when I'm typing the most. You know, I, I know I type far more than most programmers. So for average programmers, if you log your keystrokes and you compute and suppose you only type 50 words per minute, then you compute. Then it turns out for most pro programmers, you your whole day's typing can be done in five minutes, in 10 minutes, if you type continuously. OK, so that's a fact. Most people, n nobody actually type continuously for two hours a day. Uh, maybe once a day, you, you, so on average, you you don't. So, if that's the case, why not? You know, what you know, it doesn't. You know, you you could just use this, you know, normal keyboard and and uh, you know type steno uh, on it. It's yeah, that's what I think. So so, so that's my <laughs> that's my you know that my alternative adjustment to my view but no, <laughs> i wouldn't do this i think it's crap you know because i don't you know I, I, the reason i don't like it because i don't like hacks i don't like i don't want any hack you know i'm like other nerds i i look for efficiency i want the most extreme efficiency 
the best design. I want the most elegance. But then, to me, if you're gonna do steno on this, that's hack. That's that's a big, major hack. You don't you don't don't do that, man. <laughs> you know, if you really want to go speed, you know, with efficiency uh, and efficacy, you go. You get a key piano keyboard. You can buy today like that. You buy one of these. Then you design your system using that. That I would love. Okay, so that that I wouldn't get revulsive. You know, so so that's that's what I think about that. Uh, yeah. So uh, what else? Yeah. Oh, you know, all this uh, Michela system. I think th those are very interesting. Oh yeah. The other thing I want to mention is that so once you know I I studied this once I I looked at them I thought. Oh my God! You know, so why don't we? You know, we really, actually, we should have a system. You know, we should in entirely phase out the computer keyboard like that. Actually, in, in my opinion, I think you know, I started to think it is it is actually my opinion that we should actually have a computer keyboard like a piano. This is optimal. Okay, this is truly optimal. So we should. You know, because we are nerds, we are talking about core Mac versus Vorac, right? You know, or, or Emacs key binding. So if we go in that direction, then, then really, you know, I, I'm I'm using, you know, for example, I'm using this keyboard. I showed I showed many times, you know, uh, with my camera. So so why don't we go to the next level? And in fact, this is no good. Okay, if you really look into detail, this is no good, no good. You really should have this, okay? You know, you just go buy this, okay? This is like piano digital MIDI keyboards are very cheap on Amazon. This is like hundred dollars. So Kinesis like three hundred dollars. So so you buy one of these MIDI keyboard, then you learn one of these piano systems, either the Michela or or the um, the steno or the other one, the piano key. Okay, I ah, God, I already closed that window. The other uh, one. Uh, let me show you here. Piano uh, key. Okay, this designed by this uh, woman. Uh, you know, uh, modern. Then, yeah. So if you truly want, you know, better systems, really, I think this is the way to go. Then I start. To think started to think you know you know today you have a lot um, kickstarters right you have some new idea you go to kickstarters and you create a new keyboard and people buy it like 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 this one you know like this go go but I, I started to think so I'm going to spend two years to create a commercial system like you know the piano based the most efficient you can type twice as fast and easy to learn something like that easier in fact she she researched if you learn this piano system it takes less time to learn than touch typing okay so if i'm going to create that and put on kickstarter what what will happen then i realized <laughs> nobody will buy it because of habit because you know it's just going to go nowhere you know that's a sad fact of society you know just 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 like even even like the kinesis nobody you know is going to buy it except a few of us you know me emily you know emily is going for the uh motron uh and you know a few of us will buy these ogodox or this gogo very few you know one one in ten thousand people maybe so that is a problem, you know. Most so as a society, we have the problem of habit and problem of convention and backward combat compatibility. I think that's it for today. So I'm gonna read some comments, and that'll be it. So if you have some comments or some other opinions, that uh, post it now, and we talk about that, and we shut down. Uh, maybe five more minutes. Uh, so let's see comments. So Zuma, good lord, I can't imagine how long it would take to get fast on that thing. The piano thing, according to her research, it's actually easier to become efficient than touch typing. <laughs> that is true, I believe it, because 
you know, I, 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 I'm a juggler. You know, I, I also ride unicycle when I was younger. So if I juggle five balls, you know, I can show you, you know, I juggle five balls. And most to most people, or if you see people ride unicycles, most people will think, well, oh, wow, that's so amazing. It's impossible. You know, how can you do that? But actually, riding unicycle is very easy. Um, you know, you take one month, then you'll, you'll know how to do it. It's not difficult at all. So the, the point I want to say is that usually, you know, we have no idea how something is difficult until you actually learn it. For example, writing. You know, have you try try write with your left hand, okay? Try to write with your left hand. You will find it to be impossible, okay? Why? Because you've been you you've been practicing writing for years, you know, literally 10, 10, 10 years when you are in school. You practice every day. It's, so it is in fact a very difficult thing to do, you know, to write fluently. And you know, you just try it with your left hand to see how long it takes you to learn. You know, it's tremendously difficult. So in the same way, you know, we might think, oh, you're gonna, you know, this piano system, oh my God, that's impossible, that's difficult. But actually it may not be so. It's in, it's in fact easier than touch typing. So that's the thing. Um, so, hello, beautiful people. Says according to Mira by Night. Yeah, that's a that's a woman who designed a plover stenotyper. Okay, uh, the school for stenography is many many years long, two or three or four, if I remember correctly. And most of the people are not able to reach two hundred twenty five word per minute. Oh, I see. Uh, Require speed to okay two twenty five word per minute is required to be certified as a stenographer. Okay, uh, she's also a proponent of programming using steno. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Whoa, happy hacking people isn't that bad. So I don't think phonetic system would be good for programming. Phonetic, yeah, the problem with phonetic system is that, first of all, English language is not very phonetic, okay, because you got lots of uh, variations in spelling and things like that. You, you, you don't act, you know, English, the Latin alphabet is not a phonetic alphabet. It's not, you know, in linguistics, they call that alphabet principle. Meaning that if you have a language where the pronunciation corresponds to how things are spelled 100%, that's called alphabetic principle. Like Spanish is more, much more than English. English is not so much. Uh, and Lochbank, the artificial language is 100% you know, uh, correspondence. Um, even down to punctuation in Lochbaum, you, you pronounce the punctuations. So anyway, so um, so phonetic system, then when you do programming, which, you know, which includes parentheses and punctuation, so that's, that's not part of phonetic. So, but if you actually use these kind of systems, of course you have to, it's not pure, purely phonetic because you also need to type punctuations. So I think they, they do have, ways, you know, uh, to type, I think, uh, you know, I, I think so. I mean, even if not, it's not difficult to create them. Uh, so anyway, so I got I tried to vote 40% and didn't last more than a day. So Steno works with the dictionary in background. So you can just set a key code to put some programming test. Yeah. Yeah. So like you could could, you know, so actually, so, you know, I object to the idea using uh, using a normal keyboard for uh, the, the Plover system because, uh, you know, because the very idea is a hack. But I think partly I object so much because of nerds, because it's a pop, you know, it's a pop nerd thing. It's a, it's, you know, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> but it's not truly good, you know. It tr the truly good, the true nerd 
we are, if you do this okay if you <laughs> some some of you if you do this then I, I, I will like it much better the piano system uh, so, but, but uh, strong language about boards with buttons uh, good morning Alan Uh, okay, so what else? Wow, there's uh, more comments. Okay, so I think that's about it for today, but let me finish the comments. The piano is more efficient, but it will be seriously hurt the wrist after a while. Yeah, I thought about that because the piano you don't have tenting. So today's ergonomic keyboards you have tenting, so you this is more natural. The piano keyboard would be like that, but you can always, you know, you can always be creative. For example, if you actually, if you actually adopt a piano system, you could have, for example, you also have, you could have tenting. You know, you just tilt it. You know, uh, you know, so that's not. Uh, intrin intrinsic problem that's not a problem that you cannot overcome <sighs> unique circle why not EEG keyboard and also in, in, when it comes to input you know today as technology progresses you have you know we have voice systems which for common speech it's actually quite more efficient you know faster you know you and you don't have to learn you just you, like like I noticed in my YouTube they actually today compared to as opposed to 10 years ago today all the captions come out correctly <laughs> more or less <laughs> even I don't you know I don't have you know I, I don't have the best English pronunciation but all the captions just come out fine so at least for normal, you know, everyday speech, you know, the speech system beats all these, uh, inf and that is true. The speech system is, you know, is, is making the standard obsolete in court, Mo mostly. My parents let me buy unicycle and learn to ride. It's not so bad. So yes, it's uh, uh, mumbling many transhumanist thoughts today now that is end game so how how is my how how am i doing transhumanist i don't see the connection uh now that's end game efficiency oh yeah end game happy is an enemy why not rewrite for a fee we rewire for efficiency beep boop bump. i always said i would love to set to get a usb port as a cyborg enhancement yeah connect to your brain Plug the computer directly into your brain. Yeah, that that would be nice. Uh, adapter that is okay. So, but like the information output of human body is so limited. That's so true. Uh, wait, why did it jump? Shit. Uh, where where was I? Shit. Ah, this common system. I'm like strained to read the comments. I need to magnify. So string players like guitarists often retune their instrument to be more efficient for a certain type of play. Oh, okay. Uh, Lojbang, I I've learned that. Oh my God, you have learned that too. <laughs> oh my God, Emily. I've been outdated. Uh, my friend and me are learning it slowly. Okay, I can help. Okay, I think that's it for today. So today, your own writing system, Xali. What Emily think will you start the next stream with? I I don't know. She's got. She's my. She's the source of my <laughs> my information. Uh, she's got a lot of keyboard stuff. I'm I'm pretty sure we'll see that. Good morning, Kathy. Emacs Ski Manual is hard to use, but it's nothing compared to even entry level piano playing.
so did I miss anything according to okay so yeah so thank you guys for watching that's it for today bye so join discord if you have not already okay so discord let me type the key uh, let me type the code okay you invite people 30 new 39 more messages wow so bye guys Yeah, I spelled it wrong. One hour and ten minutes.